welcome to your Song People Buzzcar with your host, Rick. If you just recently started tracking into the career of reggae sensation Ava Lee, then you've probably gone through her profile pages on Facebook and MySpace, as well as her YouTube channel. You might have also noticed that profiles are just copies or snippets of copies from the MySpace page. Now, if you want to get to know your new favourite up and coming artist a little bit more, then stay tuned. These little bits of information are pulled from interviews and her blog on MySpace. Ava Lee's real name is Hayley Carline. The NR team from Vagin Records convinced her to adopt an artist's name, fitting her real name was too prosaic. Two, she's a Sagittarius. She was born November 22nd, 1986 in Chester. She'll be turning 22 this year. Three, she used to live in Notting Hill. Yes, there really is a place called Notting Hill. No mentions of small bookstores, but anyway, this star has recently moved to Brighton. Four. Other places she's been to include Kingston, Jamaica, San Francisco, California, and Poland. In Jamaica, she had a chance to record part of her up-and-coming album with the reggae heavyweights Sly and Robbie, as well as do some recording work in the studio of the reggae legend Harry Johnson. San Francisco was the venue for the shoot of her first music video for the single Mad About the Boy, and the inspiration for the video came from French director Jean-Luc Godard in Femme et une Femme. Poland saw her record with the Polish reggae band Habakkuk. Five. Apparently, she loves animals. She used to have a seven-month-old hamster named Pikachu, which unfortunately died early this year on Easter Sunday. But now in Brighton, she owns a golden Persian chinchilla cat named Mishka. Six. The artists and repertoire A&R team that handed her from Virgin Records is the same team that handled Acid Jazz Funk band Jamiroquai. Obviously, these guys know what talent when they see it, or whether or not she'll reach a Grammy award-winning status remains to be seen. All we can do is hope. 7. Ava never went to any idol shows. However, she did win a local singing contest in Spain while on vacation with her family. She sang a song by UK R&B girl band Eternal without accompaniment. She later on refused an offer by her parents to go to stage school, opting instead to hone her talents while performing at her school jazz band. 8. She regularly attends reggae festivals. However, she admits to having a hard time dealing with venues that don't provide toilet paper. Behemoth or not, Ava professes, lack of toilet roll is never a nice thing. 9. She's been seen coming on stage and performing barefoot. That's one more thing that will make you file her name beside soul artist Joss Stone, apart from looks and talent. 10. The biggest act that she's frontlined for is Lupe Fiasco on a three-city tour. Whether or not she'll achieve her own superstar status is again something that remains to be seen. Hopefully, everyone gets to see and hear more from Ava Lee, and more information about her will come to the fore. In the meantime, reggae fans will have to content themselves with her YouTube videos and her MySpace page while awaiting her CD. This is Rick, signing off.